Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to play Yukio Tachibana. For those of you who have played AOV before, this hero is exactly like Ryoma. But in AOV, you, we usually play Ryoma in the DS lane, right? Or in the AD lane. But in this game, he is primarily a jungler. So Yuki, Yukio Tachibana is primarily played in the jungle in honor of kings. In today's video, I am going to be explaining all the abilities of Yuki Otachibana and what is the best build for him and also which is the perfect combo for him. Now, you might be hearing um, rooster noises now and then. Please don't mind. Um, I am basically living in a farmhouse and yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Tachibana's passive. As you can see above the restore button, Ghostly Dashing Slice. The next basic attack initiates a powerful quick slash. So what that is, is as you can see here, where he's holding his sword, it's, uh, it's glowing, right? As you can see, the sword is glowing. So the next auto attack is enhanced. As you can see here, it has a very huge range. The, the circle that you can see is the range of the auto attack. So he attacks from very far away. Now this is his basic attack range which is very slow but after 5 seconds he gets back the ghostly dashing slice so he can deal damage from far away once again. Also this attack deals 130% physical damage so normally okay, let's see how much damage this deals 634 right now see the auto attack just dealt 326 or something so it basically deals more than double the damage uh, of the auto attacks and you can do that every 5 seconds also the enemies hit at the end take a little bit more damage uh, than just the auto attack damage so if you uh, have the enhanced auto attack but if you are standing close to the enemy you won't deal that much damage see 411 but if you are standing far away you will be dealing 616 okay so keep that in mind try to keep the range between you and the enemy quite uh, high so that you can deal maximum amount of damage next ability we are going to talk about is the first ability so the first ability is a very straightforward dash which he can use to get through walls but the only thing is you have to use it the other way uh, let me explain let's turn off the cooldown okay so Basically, for going through walls with normal heroes, you just point the uh, like cursor to where you are going to uh, jump, right? But for this hero, you have to do it the opposite direction if you want to jump through walls. So even if you are going to attack or go close to an enemy, you should not do this, but you have to do this. Pulling it in the opposite direction makes you jump towards the enemy. Now. Keep in mind that you can use this ability two times if you use it and hit an enemy with it. So let's turn off the cooldown. So normally if you use it as a dash, see it goes into a 7 second cooldown. But if you hit an enemy with it, you can use it again within a short period of time to dash once more and also deal damage. But uh, it doesn't reset for the third time so you can use it twice. You can also reset it off of creeps like this so you can see this creep right so you can use it to dash two times uh, when you are trying to escape okay so that is the first ability of yukio tachibana so the second ability now as you can see in the indicator itself there are two forms you can see a line in the middle if you manage to hit an enemy from far away you will stun them see above the head of charlotte it said stunned and the stun lasts for 0.75 seconds okay but if you are very close to them you won't stun them like see you won't stun them but rather you only deal the damage but if you are far away you will also stun them okay that is why this is a very good combo with your passive the ghostly dashing slice so this this that's a good combo stun them in place and attack them from far away with your ghosting slice that's about it for the second ability now talking about the ultimate of Yukio Tachibana. So the ultimate is also pretty straightforward. He just attacks 4 times in the targeted direction. It feels like he's attacking like 20-30 times but actually it's just 4 hits. Um, we can make her 
not invincible and you'll see okay so 376 damage four times okay and this ability if you manage to hit an enemy hero you will be healing so let's just say our H hp is low okay that should that should be perfect so if i use this ability now see for each hit i am also healing a lot so i am healing more than i am dealing damage to the enemy so it's a very good healing ability and um, if you are trying to hit non hero units like if you are uh, trying to hit a buff or animals with that ability you won't heal as much you saw while we were hitting charlotte we were healing like 536 right but see here it's just 263 so it's basically half of what we healed from heroes so you should keep that in mind as well and yeah that's about it for the ultimate now before giving you guys the combo for yukio tachibana i have to say something this hero has to be played much differently than how you play traditional warriors and assassins most of you might think he is a bad hero because of how weak he is but he is not supposed to to be a very uh, like uh, sustained damage dealing fighter who like tank takes a lot of damage and also gives a lot of damage he is a ranged warrior basically a ranged warrior so he has his disadvantages as, as well if the enemy gets too close he is surely dead so while playing him you have to maintain your range if the charlotte comes very close to you there is no chance you'll be able to fight and win her you have to keep your distance and poke them so usually you would have heard about poking heroes as marksmen and mages they are usually the poking heroes right but this warrior is also a poking hero he is not a fighter so basically now let's uh, talk about the combos so you always engage with your second ability usually even while walking i tend to hold my second ability like this so that as soon as i see an enemy i can instantly hit them so the combo is s2 auto attack ultimate and when the enemy tries to attack you you use your first ability to run away so i know that even a level 15 yukio tachibana as you can see could not kill a level 6 charlotte with one combo right so that's how weak he is but he is good uh, for poking so you keep doing that a few times and uh, the enemy will die also i don't have equipments here so you might be wondering why i'm dealing very little damage it's just these three and uh, charlotte also has uh, some defensive equipments but still you can see that he is not a hero who can one shot enemy warriors he can easily one shot marksman and mages if you manage to do the combo once on marksman or mages they will die like one two three and jump or if if it's the case where it's a marksman instead of jumping back you can just attack them and when they try to flicker again you can follow and uh, keep fighting them or uh, it's going to be situational but that's the basic combo always engage with your second ability don't engage with your first ability unless you are sure that you just need to get the kill and then you will be able to retreat because if you engage with your first ability into a team fight let's see let's turn off the cooldown if you engage like this you don't have any ability to escape see the first ability has a very long cooldown and if charlotte starts attacking you back you don't have anything to run away with right so that is why i would not recommend you guys to engage with your first ability unless you are absolutely sure that you will win the fight okay so that's about it for the combos now let me talk about the build okay so about the build as i said in the start itself he is a jungler and uh, he is very rarely played in the ds lane in uh, honor of kings so we are obviously going to go for the attack damage jungle jungle item that is the rapacious bite so the more jungle creeps you kill the more attack damage you get uh, that is all for just one shotting the enemies then we have the boots of resistance always a solid boot uh, this yukio tachibana doesn't need any any other boots he uh, he's like perfect with this boots okay and then we have the axe of torment which is basically a must have item in any warrior or assassins build in this game and then we have siege breaker to deal a lot of damage so this equipment is expensive but once you get it you will be able to easily one shot mages and marksmen if you hit all three abilities on them then we have a little bit of defense uh, just in case that you don't get one shot as well you are basically a marksman with a sword so a ranged uh, warrior yeah right like i said so that is why we have this uh, kairos of savagery to 
uh, like uh, take some damage and also if the enemies attack you it increases your damage also so if the marksman is shooting you just go and attack him you will be dealing even more damage because of this item and last we have star breaker this is for dealing damage to warriors like i said he doesn't deal a lot of damage to warriors but just in case you end up in a situation where you have to fight a warrior this will come in handy because it will easily break through their armor okay so this is the build for yukio tachibana now unfortunately guys i'm not able to show you any gameplay clips because as you know i was able to get only one snk hero from that chest uh, there are no other ways to buy them so basically i was only able to get charlotte uh, which i think uh, is the strongest hero among all of them uh, but uh, that is why i'm not able to showcase any gameplay clips for him and maybe in the future if i get uh, a chance to open another snk chest i might get him so yeah that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button leave a comment if you want uh, tutorial guides for uh, other heroes in the game and i'll surely make them for you and i hope you all have a really great day i'll see you guys in the next video